You would not believe what I just found in this second roll of nickels. And I usually only get about like 10 rolls of nickels. Here's a 64. But... It has the extra water line. As you can see right there. That is crazy. So this is going to be my second one that I've ever found. And it's in pretty decent shape by the looks of it. Like it's a little scratch, but not too horrifically or anything like that. It still has tons of luster. So that's going to be my second one that I've ever found. So I'm going to put this on to the side. Now I'll do one roll of nickels here. See if I happen to find anything interesting in this other roll. It's funny because uh, the person who brought in these nickels was actually right beside me at the bank as uh, she was bringing these in. So the bank teller just basically gave them to me. And that lady probably didn't re realize that she had a pretty rare nickel in there. So. I always try to make sure that I search for all the varieties and stuff like that. And there's 68. Anything else? Looking like a bunch of modern. I don't want to see modern, but I see another Loria portrait. Is this going to be a 64? Yes, it is. But it's not the extra water line. Because if it was there would be a die crack under the KG right there. So, that one's not. And that's going to be that for that one. So, I'll call you guys back in once I start finding more interesting stuff. I have no idea what that lady put on those coins, but before I get into the last roll, I did happen to find this really nice 72 nickel. I think it's like uncirculated. Not even a single scratch really on it at all. So I'm going to put that one in a flip along with that 64 extra water line. So those two are actually pretty nice. Did find a couple 64s and a 63. Nothing too spectacular when it comes to that. Some from the 60s, 70s, 80s, and one lonesome American. So I'm going to get into this last roll. See if there's anything inside. No octagons today. Oh, there's a seventy four. Another American. Not that old. Another American. Another American. And that's what it's looking like she wrote. So I'm going to put these away and then call you guys for the wrap up. I would say for nickels, this was a pretty good hunt. I got quite a bit of nickel right here. 20 cents in American. Found uh, about four Loria portraits. These two right here are pretty interesting. This one looks like it has uh, a weak strike on Canada. Like you can't even see the end really at all. It's like so weakly struck. Like if you go to that end, it's like very weakly struck on that end. And this extra waterline 64 nickel, which is very sweet to be seeing that. Like that's crazy to find another one. And this really nice uncirculated 72 nickel. So I'd say overall and this is a pretty good hunt. I'll have a few more new additions to my collection considering that I found this really nice nickel. For some strange reason I'm more uh, surprised by this than uh, the 64 waterline even though I should be super surprised about this. but. Yeah, 
Hopefully you enjoyed this little bit of a nickel hunt. Not too much uh, of fines, but I would say that it was definitely worth it to find a nickel that's worth $40. So stay tuned for more videos down the road. And you know the moral of the story. Happy hunting, guys.